we're constantly adding more to ourselves, right? We add the clothes, we add the status, we add the followers, we add money, we add the house, we add the personality, we add this, this, this. We're constantly adding. You will never find yourself this way. Because what the ego is trying to do is it's trying to find itself by completing itself in what it deems is completion, right? When I get this, then I'll be complete. When I get this, a piece will be reassembled, right? That hole will be filled. So when I make this, then I'll be happy. When I get this, then I'll be happy. You've all heard it before, right? You've all seen it in your own lives. The happiness is never fulfilling, is it? It's never long lasting. Sure, when you get the new car, it feels good, right? You're driving it. Yeah, amazing. Great, great, great. But after a month has passed and all your friends, your family, even maybe the public, maybe you have an amazing car and all the public have stared at it for so long and you've got used to that feeling, right? You've got used to it. Then there'll be something else. Then you'll be chasing something else. There's always going to be more. You can never find anything outside yourself that's going to give you that feeling that feeling of wholeness that feeling of completeness because it cannot be found outside of you so the purpose of this video is to tell you to stop adding and start taking away see to find the true self to find who you really are where you're going to find this sense of peace this happiness that you're actually looking for and you don't realize it you have to take away. You have to lose yourself to find yourself. So instead of adding, as I said in the beginning, you take away, take away these layers, right? You take away this personality traits that you have. You take away all the experiences that have made you who you are, right? Because this isn't who you are. And some people may feel uncomfortable to that, uneasy. Oh, but this is that's what made me me, right? That's who I am. I am who I am because of that event. I am who I am because of those experiences. But this is not who you really are. Who you are is the awareness itself. Not the awareness that perceives the illusion of self. That's who we believe we are, right? That, that self, that created self, the mind created self that makes this much money, that lives in this house, that drives this car, that has this personality trait, that has that personality trait, that has this wife, this husband. That's who we believe we are, but that's not who we are. Who we are is infinite. It's eternal. It's consciousness itself experiencing the self that you've created, but that's not you. Sure, that doesn't mean that we have to lose that part of ourselves, right? But we just stop identifying with it so much. Because there's no peace there. That's the important thing to remember, right? You can have this strong egoic self, this strong character that you've created in your mind. You can have that, but it's not going to make you happy. It's not going to make you fulfilled. It's not going to make you feel complete. So if you want to feel that feeling, if you want to bring more peace, more joy, more abundance to your life, you have to start letting go of things. All of the baggage that you're carrying around, this person that you've created that you have to present to the world. And you see how much suffering comes when, say, you've experienced people that are so inauthentic with how they present themselves, right? They have to put on this persona to people to give other people that illusion that they, that they are who that person wants that person to think they are. You see, it's like we can sense it, we can see through it. Those people are the unhappiest because the more layers you, you're adding to yourself, the more layers that you're of perception that you're trying to alter, the more suffering you create because you can't, it's not natural, right? If the tree tries to present itself as anything other than the tree, then it's not natural. The tree would suffer. You can only hold up the mask for so long, right? And you have to put it down again. So the more you're adding, 
the more you're actually becoming further away from who you are at your core. And as we said, at the core, if you could even call it that, is that awareness. But there is no core though. This is the thing. It's like shedding layers of an onion. You don't actually reach anything. You just keep peeling more and more off until you realize there was nothing there to begin with. And this is the paradox of the self. It's to ask the question, who am I, is the most powerful question you can ask because it can't be answered. You can't know it. You can only experience it. If you ask the mind, who am I, it will tell you, but that's not who you are. So if you want to actually bring more peace to your life, more fulfillment, more comfort, start letting go of all the stuff that you think you are. All the attachments you have, be it material, be it mental, physical, beauty, whatever it is, start letting go of more and more of it. And start losing the self in all these items, right? We're always attaching items to ourselves. Like I said, be it material, be it physical, mental, all of these things, we're finding self in. We're creating more and more of a self. And the stronger it is, the more you will suffer. Because if someone takes that or you lose that item and you've got such a strong self in it, then it's going to feel even more painful to lose it. So you see, if you let go of these things, you shed the layers and you lose yourself more and more and more, you start returning to that state of I am. I am that I am. That's the only thing you need to be. To be in wholeness is to know that I am that I am. This is what Jesus spoke of, being that I am state, being the awareness that precedes everything. That's the completeness. That's the eternal, everlasting love. You are this, and you can experience this when you lose yourself. Thanks for watching. And remember, you're here to evolve.